In the House of the Gloaming is a year-long performance project that takes place at St Ninian's RC Primary in Edinburgh. It's a collaboration between myself, a trainee artist called Kimono Lebby, and a placement student called Catherine Allison. It's working with young people in that school, um, the staff members and the wider school community, so families and carers as well, involving everyone in an exploration of the climate crisis and particularly focusing on young people's voices. So there'll be lots of movement, lots of text, vocal explorations, choral experiments and kind of a big, yeah, a big collaborative performance process. Now, I find it really difficult to make work about something that is not about the climate crisis or that is not ecological at, at its core. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. This year we've been working on a project called In the Hush of the Gloaming. Which is about mostly climate change. We have been doing movement texts. We have been learning new skills and learning new games. We were meeting every Monday from October to June. We went out to Lock M Park. We were doing lots of different movements and texts. Most of all, we've been experiencing what climate change does and how it affects animals or nature. And we have been also putting that into movements. We were preparing for this huge performance and a movie. So we got two classes on it. When I saw the film for the first time, I was quite like shocked because like all this year we have been doing this and it looks quite nice. When we sing in real life, it's, you know, quite good. But in the movie, it felt really angelic. The production, the like meaning of it, and it's like the kind of, it's like a filler slash horror and it was very good. Putting in all the hard work just to put into one thing it just feels perfect when you're doing it. Everything that we created in this movie and this past year was made by us and created by us. We all used our imaginations to create all these pieces of work. And parents got to come and watch. Watching the children perform, uh, very evocative. I thought it brought a real stillness. I thought it was really uh, grown up and it was almost kind of meditative watching it. This was quite emotional for me as well because um, I could see how involved the kids were. When it was one child on the stage, it kind of made me cry because it made me think of we need to be in this together. For the children to learn through a project like this is very important to see how the people from outside the school are involved in articulating concerns about the environment. It was really fun and interesting. I kept on progressing. Oh, and if you want to see the film, uh, you can just click on the link down below.